I just wanted to say thank you for giving us this chance. You can thank me by drawing more attention to yourselves. Maybe break a world record or get a hole in one at the 18th hole of Tom's mini golf. The impossible hole. Yeah, the one with the windmill and the koi water hazard. No one's ever sunk a hole in one on the 18th. I know, I know, it's top tier, but that's showbiz, baby. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. Throwing slime wasn't the smart thing to do. Au contraire, mon fr... You're the talk of the town. You're at a critical tipping point. What do you mean, critical tipping point? Like, you want us to spill more slime on no. each other? No, 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 well, we hold don't. On. Now, I got a couple nice buckets of fluorescent green in the trunk of my car, marinating up. No, no. Can't keep that stuff close. It might come in handy again soon. What I mean is, you're on the tipping point of the teeter-totter of success. Are you going up, or are you going down? Okay? But let's get down to brass slacks. Kent, cooking with Grandma rang me up. They want you to be her assistant. You're talking about the cooking with grandma. Correct. Crack a few jokes. Maybe even crack a few eggs on air when told. It's gonna be a really good way to get you exposure. Awesome. As for you two, you have a lot of work to do to catch up to A-list celebrity Kent over here. For Alex? What's up? My favorite shining star, my best and brightest baby little prince, Smiley Joel needs a magician's assistant, and I think you'd be just the ticket. Yeah, okay. And for you, Jessie's girl. Don't call me that. Okay, noted. For you, I was thinking. How, how did you get in there so quietly? Like. Actually, uh, we have our own idea. Laurel Thatcher Ulrich once said that well-behaved women seldom make history, so I know that if I want to make a name for myself, if we want to make a name for ourselves in this town, then, you know, we have to go out of our comfort zone and get people's attention. So, nothing gets people's attention like a good old-fashioned goof. Yeah, pranks on camera. Well, let's call it social commentary. Yeah, that. For the last step, slap a little butter on those biscuits, enjoy them while they're hot. Well, pass the buns, my boy. Sure, Grandma. Oh. 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 Every time a chef drops his buns, an angel gets its wings. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. <laughs> you tall glass of water, you. <laughs> no, me? Really? <laughs> Okay, yeah, <laughs> me. Cut, and that's a wrap. <sighs> Listen, this is my show. You keep making these little slip ups, and you gotta go. But, but what happened to me being your tall glass of water? <laughs> you are a tall glass of shit. You want to make it in this business, you got to try a lot harder. Yes, ma'am. Grandma. Mrs. Grandma? Ms. Grandma. Now pick up these buns. <laughs> She's single. Get to go. Hi everyone, and welcome to episode one of Social Commentary Conundrums. In this episode, we'll prove that nothing stops traffic like the power of imagination. In my pocket, I have 30 feet of 
Invisible rope? What? Oh my god, okay, check it. Here comes some now, okay? Hey, is there something on the road? Maybe. Well, could you move it, please? I, I don't want to. Please, it's just, it's just my girlfriend. She's, she's going into surgery again today and I just want to tell her I love her just one last time. Okay, so that didn't go well, but I think we still proved something, so we can edit it when we hey get there. home. And... Hi. Hi. <laughs> we're the hometown helpers, <laughs> and um, we were just cruising through the park and couldn't help but notice you seemed to drop something in the road back there. Would you mind letting us lend a helping hand? You know, a little kindness makes a heavy load lighter. They're on to us, Casper. <laughs> Run! <laughs> Wait! <laughs> God. Oh, you ripped your jacket. I hurt my ankle. Oh. <sighs> Wait, help me get up. You need to trust me. Uh, why? No, like you really need to. Uh. This is an illegally binding verbal contract. You, you mean legal? No. Illegal if you don't trust me. Now get in the box, me boy. Wait, what happened to your lost assistant? Alex, Jess, your foot. More importantly, your stomach. <laughs> yeah, Joel took a rusty saw to my core. They found two different types of tetanus in my blood. You? My feeble ankles buckled under the weight of justice or whatever. Jesus, look at us. Have you heard from Kent at all today? Cupid, if you're listening, lend me your bow. Kent! So Why didn't you answer your phone? I mean, we've been trying to call you all afternoon. Our days really fell apart, and so when we didn't get your 5 p.m. Nacho review email, we started to worry. Why didn't you answer your phone? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just don't know if I can stay on this show any longer. What are you talking about? We have a strong bond, but intergenerational work relationships, they're, they're frowned upon. We all know that. Do we? I love her, so I must set her free. Are you saying that maybe you... we just please pass this on? I don't want to get filleted by a 10 year old anymore. I don't want to play pranks on people anymore. It feels mean. I don't want to be led on by another senior citizen. It's only going to break my heart. Maybe we just. Stick to comedy.
was rude, wasn't it? When did he start slicking his hair back? Well, that was Grandma's dressing room. It, it doesn't matter. No more dumb jumps from Brian. We can find our own work. Look after each other. I'm in. Me too. The most surprising part about being a talent manager? That's a great question. Probably just the wide range of trials and tribulations we go through. You might call it character development. One time I had this client volunteer to do their own stunt work. They accidentally caught on fire and burnt the whole set down. At, at first it sounds awful, right? Nope. They rebuilt that building into a really cool restaurant. Now, it's one of my favorite places to eat. Oh, they even have a lunch buffet. Only $7.95. Sorry, uh, what happened to your- Think class? Asian meets Mexican. Pure fusion. Like me and my clients. This job is so rewarding. I wonder how their first day went. Oh, it's Bandit. 